In this video, we will show you how you can use ArcGIS Velocity to ingest aviation data from Spire's AirSafe API. Now, Spire, an Esri partner, is a global data and analytics company that leverages satellites to track and collect global sets of information, such as weather conditions, maritime shipping, and even aviation activity. And so on the topic of aviation activity, one data stream that Spire makes available to their customers is what's called the AirSafe tracking stream, and this is used for tracking aircraft in real time. This data stream is part of the broader AirSafe API by Spire and is what we'll be using in this video today to bring aircraft data into ArcGIS Velocity. And so to get started with bringing this data into Velocity, we will first want to create an HTTP polar feed. We're choosing to use this specific feed type since the AirSafe API requires that clients make a connection using a long-lived HTTP GET request to pull for data. And so to configure this feed, we'll simply provide the URL to the AirSafe API first. Next, we'll expand this custom headers advanced option so that way we can provide an authorization token to the API. For the name, we'll provide the term authorization. And for the value that you see on the right, we'll provide the token that the API is expecting. Before we proceed to the next step, we also want to expand long polling that you see here. And we want to basically enable long polling so that way the feed, as a client, can establish that long-lived HTTP GET request required by the API. With these key properties defined, we can now proceed with configuring the remainder of this feed. Now at this step, Velocity is deriving the data schema using a sample record returned by the AirSafe API. After flattening the JSON object, I can confirm my schema is as I expect, and so I'll go ahead and click Next. For this third step, Velocity allows me to identify key properties, such as geometry, time, and a unique track identifier. Here's the correct configuration for the Spire data. We're constructing the point geometry from the longitude and latitude fields in the dataset. I've also specified the timestamp field as my start time and provided Velocity the necessary date formatting string to parse its date time values accordingly. Lastly, each aircraft can be uniquely identified by its ICAO address, and so I've set this field as the unique track identifier. Moving forward, step four is where we could define a polling interval for our feed, but this isn't needed when you're leveraging long polling. So for now, we'll leave the defaults in place and click Next. Once we have everything in order, we can provide the feed a name and click Complete. By clicking this, our feed is now created and we're taken to the feed details page. Here, we can review the details and status of our feed. You'll notice that it's initializing. Once this finishes, the feed will start to run. And just like that, we can see our feed is now running. And it's begun to ingest data from the AirSafe API. We can now add this feed to a web map to begin visualizing the data right away by clicking on Open in Map Viewer. Now, as this web map initializes, you'll come to notice that our feed is quickly going to populate the web map with a plethora of aircraft features from Spire. At this point, we may want to consider strategies for controlling what type of data is shown or how much data is shown. If we come back to the original web map from earlier, we can start to explore some of these strategies. For example, in this view, we can see that we're only displaying aircraft whose destination is the John F. Kennedy or LaGuardia airports in New York City. This was configured by setting the following filter expression in the web map. Likewise, we could easily head back to Velocity and add the feed to a new analytic where we can then utilize different tools to only process a limited subset of features. Or if we wanted to, we could even perform some sort of analysis based around geofencing of specific regions. But regardless of what you decide, we hope this example has helped you as you begin to work with Spire's AirSafe API within ArcGIS Velocity. Thank you.